Now, let's understand another input device. See this figure, Vidya. This is a mouse, Baba. I know. When I move it over a smooth surface, the pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. Yes, Vidya. Mouse was invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1967. It is a palm-sized device and usually connected to the computer by a cable. It can have one to four buttons. It is a device that detects horizontal movement on a surface. This motion is displayed in to the motion of a pointer on the screen. By this device, we can point to and select an item from a menu available on different programs and softwares. It may be considered as the most important input device of the computer, which helps in taking the computer to the masses. Before the invention of mouse, every command had to be typed, for which a lot of training was required. With the mouse, any user can point to a menu items which has been displayed graphically or in small images and select it. This method is also called graphic user interface. That is, the user interacts with the computer via the graphics, or the graphics here act as an interface between user and computer, also called GUI. There are two types of mouses: mechanical mouse and optical mouse. Mechanical and optical. What is the difference, Baba? With the in the inner part of the mechanical mouse, there is a movable control ball that follows the movement of the mouse. But in the optical mouse, there are two sensors that are used for passing signals and acting on it. Got it, Vidya? Yes, Baba.